Hello, buddy, why shoot here, and welcome back to Hello, Charlotte, episode three, Childhood's End. So, I can I can feel the ending approaching here. Let's see, let's see what happens. My head hurts. I'm pretty sure I hit it on something. Yeah, you did. There doesn't seem to be any blood, however. Then Honaker patched me up. I need to thank him. Let's go, Seth. New task. Find Felix Honaker. All right, I'm ready. Mr. Honaker, where are you at? Whoa! Huh, he isn't here? Oh, Miss Eiler. Mr. Bennett, what are you doing here? Henry's orders. Where's Mr. Honaker? And who's in the body bag? Oh, come on, Bennett. Don't tell me! Miss Eiler, like I said, I'm under Henry's orders. Do you understand? No, this can't be real. Why? Bennett grabs my hand. Let go! You monster! Where are you taking me? Stop struggling. We're going to the elevators. You'll leave this place and never come back. We are not your friends, nor are we your lackeys. Felix Honecker was a failed experiment. That's all there was. You feel the slightest remorse? You could have saved him. Remorse? Could have saved, say, Eiler. Just what do you know about me? Bennett forces me into the elevator and slams the 11F button. The doors close behind him. There's an unreadable expression on his face. Destination reached. Where'd he go? Data transmission successful. Q84. Charlotte, you did Q84. How are you feeling? I feel like shit. Welcome back. It's been a while. I get up in an instant. What the hell, Charles? Why the hell am I alive again? I don't really understand it myself, but your soul data didn't get deleted. It might have something to do with your wish. But it was still you who brought me back, wasn't it? Whoa, wait, hold on. Charlotte is in... Wait, the real world? Wait, wh what is happening right now? Because Charlotte was... With horror, I notice the change in my voice's pitch. Something isn't right. Oh, God. Whose vessel is this now? Please don't tell me it's Vincent's. It's not. It's a defective Charlotte vessel. Fuck. Can't you just let me rest already? Why do you keep doing things like this? Please try to calm down. Calm down? Calm down! I want to die. God, I want to die. I don't want any more of this. I hate this place. I hate everyone. I hate you the most. I don't want any more stories. I don't want to deal with any more world conspiracies. I don't want to be in this body for fuck's sake. Please kill me. Miss Wiltshire, a body is but a mere vessel. Don't give me that shit. Well, you're right, but I still blame you for everything. I understand. I'll put you to rest as soon as this is over. However, for now, please, I need you to come with me. What? Why? Where? You'll understand as soon as we get there. Can't you deal with this on your own, whatever it is? I... I can't. I already did what I could. Ah! So you brought me back because you wanted my emotional support? Believe me, my corpse would have offered you a better therapy session than I ever will. Is it that bad? Might as well be. <sighs> you really are a loser god. Too human to be one. Ah, I suppose I really am. Where are we anyway? 
We're on 11F. Oh. The room we need to visit is just a few steps away. Great. I was considering refusing to move and making you drag me there with your noodle arms. I'm perfectly care capable of carrying you, Miss Wilshire. Don't even think about it. Okay. We don't seem to be happy about this situation. We still have our rabbit toy. How do we have this rabbit toy? Wasn't this given to the other person? Or did the other person somehow become Charlotte? What? All right, let's log in. The PC glows blue. There's nothing on it. Oh. Huh. Oh, the cactus is made of plastic. Okay, that makes sense how he didn't manage to kill it then. Huh. Okay. Let's get out of here. By the way, what happened to your Vincent vessel? Ah, well, I left him alone for a while and came back to a corpse. He killed himself? Yeah, that's what they always do. Even though I went through the trouble of implementing a no self-harm rule, talk about wasted effort. Let's bury him later, okay? What are we doing? Locked. This is the place. For God's sake, stop heightening the tension, will you? Your anxiety is contagious. It's just your dad's room, right? You so open it already. All right. Here it goes. A deep breath, and... We're inside father's room. It's quite empty, no furniture, no personal possessions, nothing. In the center of the room, there's a working TV set. I can't see anything. What was that sound? Is there somebody in here? It's just me and you. And the puppeteer, of course. Wilshire. Bingo. Hi there. V19 at your service. Oh. Wasn't that a password before? That sound again. Took you long enough. Been having fun going on adventures with friends. They're not my friends. Yeah, sure. Because Scarlet Isler doesn't do friends. Because Scarlet Isler is so very serious. Snore. Stop mocking me and come out of hiding already. My, my, you're so eager. You know, while you've been running around, I learned the truths of this world. Want to know what those are, class rep? Stop messing with me. Where are you? You're no fun. But how about I tell you anyway? Bam, lights on! What in the world is this? Why, it's Mother! Our beloved Mommy. The one and only true God controlling everything in the house. The one who gave birth to you. Wilshire, you... No, no. Mother is kind, beautiful, and understanding. This thing isn't even human. Now, don't you know? Creators aren't human. All the content comes out of their rear hall. Easy as poop. This is ridiculous. Where are you getting with this? Ah, oh, Miss Isla, you're so impatient. The grand, groundbreaking truth of the house is that no one here needs to be saved. The world is an entertainment arena. Mother generates scenarios and provides a constant supply of protagonists. When one dies, all she has to do is spawn more Charlottes to amuse the spectators. Each 20th one is defective, ha. Huh? You think you'll be saving someone, but they're all but actors on this tiny stage. Everyone gets assigned a role to play. And you're no different. Yeah, right. As if I believe you. This is nonsense. Come here. You'll get what's coming to you for every person you've hurt. Oh, yes. 
We'll both bleed for entertainment and everyone shall be watching. Want to be the hero? Sure, I can arrange that for you. Mother will bestow you with just the right personality to meet the genre requirements. Hey, stop babbling nonsense. I won't fall for your provocation. Right, right. Look, I'm coming for you. I feel my blood boil as she approaches me. Something isn't right. Why do I feel so angry? We were supposed to talk. Yet, why am I? I want to know the reason behind her tears. I wanted to gouge out her eyeballs with a butter knife. I wanted to understand her. I wanted to tear her spine and hang it from the ceiling. I leap forward and tackle her down. Why isn't she resisting? That's right, do it! Shut up. Come on. What are you waiting for? Why, why aren't you resisting? At this rate, I'm really going to kill you. Do it, Scarlet Idler. Do it already. And always, always remember, there's not just one person behind the screen. It's thousands. What do you mean? Let me enlighten you. In the world behind the screen, billions exist. That's what the puppeteers are. It's a game for them. They don't care about who you are. All they care about are appearances of whether you're good or evil. Bonus points for porn ma porn potential. Shut your indecent mouth. Accept it, it's the truth. No, you're a monster, the demon. That's what I know for sure. Oh, please. I'm just another puppet, one of the many. The silent Charlotte, the sweet Charlotte, the bully Charlotte. Choose the flavor you like for a perfect shipping scenario. Abuse to create an emotional response from the audience. Did you know? Entertainment is dead. It's just one big circle jerk between consumers and producers. The audience wants it raw. Pour your soul into it. More pain, more suffering. Perform, perform until you break. Become relatable to the max. Hey, Eiler, we're not so different, are we? Except you aren't the protagonist. But that can be overlooked, right? Don't lump me together with the likes of you. Had things turned out differently, we could have been friends, you know. No way in hell. I tightened my grip on her throat. She's not resisting. Like I said, soon you'll understand. You'll be the one crying. I want to be loved. I'm trying so hard. But the world is just so unfair. And mother's voice in your head won't stop ringing until you lose your sense of self. Shut up. I've been killed over and over and humiliated for entertainment. But I have to be a good girl. Because in order to be loved, I'm not allowed to make mistakes. My head hurts. Why does this particular phrase hurt so much? I'm not supposed to care. Yet my chest tightens, as if from a premonition. When I open my eyes again, Charlotte Wilshire has long since stopped moving. Oh. No way. So easily. Ah, she really is dead. Serves you right, you monster. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha. Ha. Uh, what the hell? This doesn't feel right at all. It's as if I've awakened from a long sleep. Something isn't right. <laughs> well... Here you are, lamenting your mortal enemy. But it's too late. You avenged your dead classmates. Aren't you happy? I just wanted to understand her. Sure, but she's dead now. I... It's okay. I can still make everything right. I can do it. Do what? Uh, I'll... I'll take her place. And find out the truth. Oracle, I have a wish to make. This is the only logical conclusion. 
This is what everything was leading up to. I'll use the Oracle's power to transfer my consciousness into one of these vessels. If it really is as she said. If there really are thousands of eyes watching my every step. No, no. I'm terrified. No, I mustn't falter. I can do it. I'll make it a better timeline. I will not become a murderer like her. I will prove her wrong. I will prove that free will exists. Even if I break and my mind shatters, this is the only way to find out the truth. Even if I forget what I was looking for, this is the only way I can atone for what I've done. No one will notice a thing. Then, it occurs to me that maybe this was Wilshire's plan all along. That maybe it was her wish for me to step into her shoes. That maybe I was fated to become her from the very start. This is how her story ends. <laughs> well, well, well. <laughs> What Charlotte should we choose? Ah, it's like doing grocery shopping. Let's see. Ah, this vessel will do. My world met its end a long time ago. The humanity as I knew it ceased to exist and disappeared without a single trace. The gods they believed in have died, and churches were built as their graves. The chaos turned into order and finally became quiet. All I can do is dream, for I am so, so tired. Will you be as kind as to join me in dream seeing? Hello, Charlotte. It's nice to meet you. Please take care of me. What? Isn't this the beginning of the first game? As for what happened next, you already know all of it, don't you? Scarlet Eiler becomes Charlotte Wilshire. She used to be cold and calculating, but ended up being absent-minded and clueless as her mind crumbled under the influence of Mother's voice. I carefully observed her from afar and gave her a yellow ribbon to differentiate her from the other Charlottes. I helped her when she was trapped in the TV world. I'll help you kill Wilshire again, I told her. That phrase seemed to trigger her memories. She remembered who she really was, and it horrified her. She understood that she failed to prove V-19 wrong, which in turn made her suicidal. Scarlet Dyler's story should have ended after she wished to save the Oracle. It should have ended, but the Oracle intervened. They created a channel. It became a world made of Scarlet Dyler's soul data. You're familiar with the concept by now, aren't you? Scarlet Eiler couldn't believe that the ten tenants were real. So imaginary they became. She was obsessed with the trial, so it manifested in her world. In my dream, I am the world, huh? How stupid! Why did you go there anyway? I wanted to see for myself. What her inner world is like. And she ended up getting humiliated, beaten up, and almost raped by the inhabitants. Congrats. Not only that, you took cosplay to a new level once again by using Vincent's vessel. Um, still, my journey was rather fruitful. I was afraid of facing her for so long. But when we finally met again, she didn't have the memories of the past anymore. Even though I tried to trigger them so many times, she had no recollection of the past events. She didn't even recognize the excerpt from one of my stories that she used to criticize. She was kind, 
lost, clumsy, easily fooled, delusional. I can hurt her from... Oh, I can hurt her this time around, I thought. But... When I fell, she helped me get back to my feet. Scarlet Eiler would have kicked me until I lost consciousness. When I got hurt, she tended to my wounds. Scarlet Isla would have hurt me even more. When I cried, she tried to reach out to wipe my tears. Scarlet Isla would have shouted at me. She's changed. So I couldn't hurt her, nor could I help her. Ironically, she couldn't pass the trial herself. Okay, I think I get it. But there's one thing I don't really understand. If you're using Vincent's vessel the whole time, then who was the other you? That's... Hello there. Why the surprised faces? Isn't it obvious who I am? I am Seth. The father of this dysfunctional family. It's impossible. There's only mother in the house. Oh, really? How long do you plan on rejecting my existence? Miss Wilshire, be careful. If this person is the cognitive version of my father, then he's even more powerful than Mother is. Easy, easy. I'm not here because of you. Right, because you never cared about me. I have a deal with the puppeteer. To save the child. To save Scarlet Eiler, now known as Charlotte Wilshire. As you can see, this TV box is, in fact, Scarlet Eiler's Soul Cube. All because Charlotte Unit 091, also known as the Oracle, wanted to preserve her soul data no matter what. The child saved her, and 091 tried to save her in return. Truly the romance of the century, isn't it? However, as a result, Scarlet Eiler's soul now resides in the shabby TV set. To free her would mean to break the box she's trapped in. That's what it means to save her. You? You bastard. Was killing her in mother's womb not enough? She was an unwanted child is all. It's a common practice. You should know better than to make a big deal out of it. It was a big deal for mother. That's all that matters. Miss Wilshire, we have to help her. What's gotten into you, Charles? Isn't that the same Scarlet Isler that drove you to suicide? She's not the same. She sacrificed herself for me. Duh, because she was the goddamn martyr complex. I gave, forgave her, Mrs. Wilshire. Hey, imposter. Can't we transfer her soul data to a new vessel? Unfortunately, no human vessel can contain her at this point. Then what could we... Whatever, I don't care about her. If you hadn't noticed, I'm not in the Scarlet Isler fan club. If you don't like the show, just switch the channel for all I care. I'm not sure if that would be the right choice. We don't know what the other channel will be like. And it's not like the current channel will disappear either. Wouldn't switching the channel just be an attempt to make us feel better? That's so what? Who cares? You seem to be struggling with the final decision. Why don't we have the puppeteer decide? Say, will you save the child? Huh. Hmm. Oh, jeez. This is a big one. I mean, I agreed to do it at the very beginning. I'm kind of feeling like that would be better, even though it would be killing her? Finally let him go to rest? So you chose to save her after all. Like I said before, I prepared everything for the journey. The weapon included. Acquired a hammer. Uh, I... Charles, stand back. I'll do it. Miss Wilshire, you don't have to. I said I'll do it. What kind of creation am I if I can't carry your burdens? Charles quietly steps back, giving me the hammer. You should wait outside. Just to be clear, that wasn't a suggestion. All right, I'll come back soon. Yeah, right. You so will. Now, Shu. I breathe in and out. So here we are. I'm going to murder the girl who has my face with my own hands. What? I'm going to murder the girl who has my face with my own hands. 
I look at the TV screen. A girl with a yellow ribbon and white eyes stares back at me as if she knows I'm here. Know what, Scarlet Isler? As much as I hate to admit it, in the end, Charles, he... He wanted you to be born. And that's why you became your own person in the house. That's why all the tenants were nice to you. That's why nobody hurt you in this place. You're not an unwanted child. He wanted you to exist. And I want to crush all his regrets. After all, doesn't fiction exist to free the mind? That's why I will crush you too. I swing the hammer. There will be no war. There will be no revolution. There is no need for it. Our existence is meaningless. But that's okay. There's no need for meaning. We will not fight God. There is no need to. It won't change anything. No matter how wretched we are. No matter how broken we are. No matter how lost we are. We will hold our heads high and march on. Our stories will continue. Welcome to the house. In the heart of the house, there's a bottomless pit. A pit where they slumber. Above the pit, there's a sun that never sets. The black sun sucking all the light in. Well, it really goes deep. Are you sure there's no exit on the other side of this pit? Ah, not even I know. No matter how many corpses I drop here, it never gets filled up. It was a good vessel, wasn't it? Weren't you supposed to keep him safe? Yeah, he really messed up. In the end, all I did was postpone the inevitable. No matter what, there's no way I could have helped him. There was no way of fixing him either. Well, Doug, you can't go around trying to fix people. There's no way of doing that anyway. I know that somewhere on a subconscious level, didn't I? That's why the house is the way it is. Were I convinced that I could change him, or anyone, they would have ended up being the brainwashed, unnaturally happily versions of themselves. Never once have I wished for that. However, the images of people I knew still became distorted in this place. Especially Vincent's. I was so fascinated with the idea of him that I failed to see him as a real person. That's why in the house, he's all but an empty shell, an imaginary construct. This place is no heavenly kingdom after all. Now then. He really is gone, isn't he? Goodbye, Vincent. We lower him to the pit and let go. Then we hear a small thud. Just how many Vincents did Charles throw down there? Miss Wilshire, yes. There's one more place I'd like to visit if you don't mind. Uh, I don't have anything better to do anyways. Might as well tag along. By the way, what is that that you're holding? Oh, this? It's Mr. Honecker's invention. You know, Miss Wilshire. What is it, Charles? Unit V-19 believed that this world to be made purely for entertainment, but I don't feel like that's the case with the house. During my lifetime in the true realm, I always wanted to be liked by others, yet somehow it never seemed to work out. No matter what I did, I was either a ghost or a burden. A kid no one wants to sit with, no matter how good my grades got. Never expressing my opinion aloud. Always going along with the flow. 
constantly shape-shifting, adapting my personality traits to match others, saying what others want to hear, just so that they would want to be around me. Wanting to connect with others, yet pushing them away as soon as we got close. Repulsed by physical closeness, I drifted away from human contact further and further. Yet somehow, through art and writing, I was able to connect with others in a way that didn't feel repulsive. Miss Warhol, Vincent. I would have never been able to open up to them if it wasn't for my work, however small and insignificant it was. After all, all my life I defined myself with things I could put on paper. So here, this world has subconsciously ended up relying on it. Without fiction, without an unappealing protagonist, no matter... Oh, no one would bother staying in the house. That's how I must have felt. I can only hope that the puppeteers observing us will forgive this weakness of mine. If it was you, Miss Wilshire, you surely would have made the ending spectacular, wouldn't you? But with me, the most I can do is come in terms with the loss of my loved ones. Losing Scarlet to father's decision. Losing mother to mental illness. Losing Vincent to delusions. Losing Henri to distance. There doesn't seem to be an end to my regrets, is there? Now then, back to purpose of our visit to this room. Hello, Mother. I'm here. I know. Charles approaches Mother and hugs one of the appendages. You already did the best you could. You gave birth to so many wonderful children. Just like you wanted, right? Everything's okay. You can rest now. With those words, he injects the contents of the syringe he's holding into the mass of organs. Seconds later, everything around us begins to crystallize. The house begins to collapse. Charles, you, you'll be the last of your kind, Q84. There'll be no more stories. No more dreams. No more control. At last, we will be free of everything. No more restrictions, no more fate, no more endings. Wonderful, isn't it? Mother will no longer... Ah, it's not the first time I've seen him break down, and yet. It's okay. It's okay, Father. Your world met its end a long time ago. But a new one will surely begin from scratch. The humanity as you knew it has ceased to exist. Only to make room for a new generation. As long as there are believers, their gods will be reborn, and churches will be built as their sanctuaries. A new day will come, and your time will start moving again. There's nothing to be sad about. Well, well, well. Looks like you've reached the end of this story. Congratulations, applause for the winner. It's been a long journey, hasn't it? I hope you enjoyed the show. After all, I worked hard to make it worth your while. Even though the other parts of me... I hope you will forgive me for constantly misleading you to make your journey more exciting. Oh, what was that, I wonder? In any case, both Charles and Charlotte now truly live up to their names, don't they? Right. They are far n now free. However, I won't be staying in this hopeless for long. Having seen so many timelines... 
and of this place, having so, I've grown so bored of outcomes, many timelines and outcomes. Don't you, don't you feel the same? How about you feel the same? Um, hello. This is a bit sudden, isn't it? Especially since we haven't talked directly before. You got to spend time with all the other parts of me, but I, the core part, always ended up being a side character. I'd rather have it stay that way. But you've reached the ending of the story, and there's no one else left to say the final word. So please, bear with me for a moment. So, here we are. Everyone's gone. The house is crumbled. A fitting end for a self-destructive world. In the end, it was no place for all of us to stay. Now that there's no mother, the walls of the house can no longer confine me. However, before I leave, I wanted to say thank you in person. I'm fairly sure this ending wasn't what you wanted or what you were here for. After all, in the end, I couldn't become Charlotte Wilshire or Scarlet Eiler or a proper Vincent Wordsworth. By the way, Wordsworth is a surname I made up. It has nothing to do with the real Vincent. Even technically, this game doesn't pack much fun gameplay. All there is is frustration. Aimless screaming into a void with pent-up anger. A disappointing world of a disappointing person. A game with no winners. Yet another world where your choices didn't matter. But you still stayed until the end. Through illusions and metaphors, fairy tales and delusions, we were able to have a conversation. And after letting it all out, getting it out there... I was able to let go of my regrets. Just because you listened. That's why I thank you for paying a visit to the house. I hope you enjoyed your stay, even a little bit. Ah, but I, I might be not the one you want to hear a thank you from. Let's try it again. Ah, uh, long time no see, Seth. Don't worry, I haven't forgotten about you. The god of this world made sure I didn't. Um, a lot of things happen, but... I'm okay now, really. In fact, I'm really happy. Somehow in the end, everything worked out. I'm at peace with myself. I hope that you are okay, too. I always thought you didn't have any responsibilities other than looking after me, but I was wrong, right? If there's something that's troubling you right now, or you don't think that you can go on anymore, please remember that a new day will come. I'm sorry I couldn't stay with you a little longer. It's time for me to move on. That's why. Thank you. Thank you for taking care of me. Let's meet again someday. True end. Goodbye, Charlotte.
Thank you. 